troubled families. Between them, they cost taxpayers an estimated £9 billion a year. That's £75,000 per year per troubled family. Manchester for us is uh, Nick Buckley from the charity Manhunian Way, which tackles antisocial behaviour and helps struggle, struggling families. Thanks so much indeed for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. What is your view on what you've been hearing? Will it work? Can it work? I think it can help. Um, I think the term troubleshooter um, is a little bit, a little bit wrong. I think we should call them coordinators. It's about using the resources we've already got in our communities, and it's about using them better. Uh, it's about making sure we get better value for money out of those resources, and making sure we take a holistic approach on the subject, and making sure someone's overviewing all these different agencies and all the good work they're doing. And let's not forget, we're doing some really good work in the neighbourhoods with some of these families already. Uh, yes, yeah, indeed. So, like what? Um, some of the work I've been doing over the last seven years. Um, and the work the charity is carried on doing now. A lot of it's about early intervention. Um, it's about nipping things in the bud before before some families and individuals develop into these troublesome families. And then when they have these troublesome families now, some of them have been causing problems for generations. I know half a dozen families myself who were causing problems 30, 40 years ago, and their children and their children's children are continuing that lifestyle now. Um, so some of the things we have been doing obviously haven't worked. And I do think we need to take a fresh approach. We do need to look a little bit deeply into specific families and to see what we can do. There's agencies out there to help. And, and some of the problems would be worthlessness is a big issue. Drugs, trying to get some of the parents off drugs, off alcohol. Um, and the families themselves as well have more than just one, one problem. It's not the fact that they may be on drugs. It's a whole raft of problems where you need, one more, you need more than one agency to help out. You need educational welfare for the children, you need all sorts, and that needs coordinated. Yeah, but well, when you say that, um, as far as you're concerned, that, Nick, some families that you know of that have been causing trouble for 30 or 40 years, are they now with, without hope, do you think? No, um, I don't believe there's any families, any individuals out there um, who are beyond helping. Some are going to be extremely difficult and some are going to be even harder than that. Um, in my previous job, I interviewed probably about 1,200 young people and parents around antisocial behaviour. And out of those 1,200 people, there was only one parent who refused help. Um, because parents want the best for the children, and no matter who they are, they want the best. They may not have the tools or have the skills to give them the best start in life or to educate them, but deep down inside, they want the best for their children, and we need to tap into that. Okay, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thanks a lot. Well, Matt Kavanagh from the Social Justice Think Tank, the Institute for Public Policy Research, is uh, in our Westminster studio uh, for his mouth, giving an alternative.